Now, linked to all this strategy, we are we continue to work to increase our market share in each of these products, right? And we, we have seen a steady increase in market share uh, for paracetamol, metformin, ibuprofen, gaifenesin, and we continue to do so, both as API, granulation, and finished dosages. Okay? So that increase in market share has been very important for us. Now, uh, I would like Mr. Murthy to present our uh, results for this quarter. Thank you, Basket. This year, this quarter, uh, our turnover is 189.3 crores. That is 59% growth over last year, first quarter. Our uh, EBITDA in the quarter is 18. Yeah. Our EBITDA in this quarter is 18.4%. That is 47% growth over last year, first quarter. Uh, our fat has increased by almost 100%. That is to 6.3 crores from 3.1 crores last year. Dividend was increased to by 33% to 20% per share from 15%. The stock has appreciated by 129% from January 1st onwards. Sorry, it looks like it was not audible for some people. The microphone was, uh, but what I would say is highlight is you can see very robust growth, which uh, builds on the momentum that we've had over the fast, last few quarters. So uh, revenue growth of 59% uh, year on year, correspond, compared to the corresponding quarter, EBITDA growth of 47%, and a PAT growth of uh, pretty much doubling of PAT. So good performance, uh, sustaining the momentum we've had over the last few quarters. Uh, now, what, what does this mean and where is it leading to? We are looking uh, towards crossing 1,000 crores in sales. Uh, we have uh, to cross that and go beyond that. So over the next uh, few quarters, uh, in terms of scale, we, are con we continue to consolidate our strength in terms of scale. Granulation, we are doubling our capacity to 18,000 metric tons. That capa that, uh, in Q2, this block, this doubling of capacity will be completed and that uh, manufacturing facility will be commissioned. We are troubling our finished dosages capacity. We're going to 18 billion tablets, nameplate capacity. So that will also happen during quarter two. So these two major things uh, will happen in quarter two, which will help us build and grow both top line and bottom line. Uh, we do expect with these kinds of scales to further improve our margins, uh, particularly towards the later part of this year and uh, next year. In terms of, uh, again, to emphasize our pa partnership approach, uh, we, if you look at what we have done by working, collaborating closely with customers, which we grew sales from 72% of our customers during the last fiscal. So which shows that customers are not only coming back to us, they're increasing their wallet share with us, right? which uh, will, in the long run, augur well for the company. And our average sales per customer also increased by 50%. Okay. Now, lastly, our focus. Like I mentioned earlier, our focus strategy is willing to is paying off by being very focused and being very good at a limited uh, number of products. We are able to make offer the best uh, value proposition to our customers, and hence we are seeing this kind of growth in uh, customers' wallet share uh, that I mentioned earlier. Thank you. So no, now we are open for uh, question and answers. Sorry, two, late second half of 2013, I'm sorry, I was thinking about that. Second half of 2013, the joint venture should be commissioned. It, we will have to wait for approvals from the FDA, the regulatory bodies, and that may, what we are doing is, uh, we will start making intermediates. If we, uh, while we, next fiscal, we will achieve it.